Hey guys, Mallard here with another stamp video. So today what I'm going to talk about is how to identify foreign stamps um, that you have no idea where they're from. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, so I broke these up into three tiers. I have tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now tier one stamps are going to be pretty easy and straightforward. As you can see with both of these guys, um, they actually have the country um, right on the top of the stamp. So this stamp obviously is from Cyprus. You can see the Cyprus right there. And this stamp is from Chile, South American country Chile. You can see it right there at the top. Um, so tier one are stamps that are super easy to identify because they have the country on the top of the stamp, around the stamp, um, Canada, United States, that usually always have their country on there. Now this tier two stamp um, is what we're gonna call them, a um, little harder. Um, as you can see, this one says Norge and something at the bottom. And this one, the only thing it says at the bottom is um, Postes Perzantes. I'll show you real quick. See, the only thing you can see on the bottom, Postes Perzantes. All right. I mean, I don't know what that means off the top of my head, right? I'm going to need to do some research. Um, so what you do, you get your computer out, you get your um, cell phone out, and you just type in what you see on the stamp. So for this stamp, I would type in Norge 20, I think it says 23 or 25 um, stamp. Um, and if you do that, um, you will get a result. If you type in Postes Perzanes 10 stamp, you'll know what they are. Um, so yeah, so this stamp is actually from Norway. Um, if you type in Norge, um, I mean, that makes sense, right? It's from Norway. Um, this stamp, Perzanes, um, Postes, you can guess, it's probably from Persia, which is also known as Iran. Um, so tier two stamps, you usually do have to get your cell phone out and kind of figure it out on your own, but it's not too hard. Um, you can make out some of the, you know, the letters and the numbers and just type in stamp at the end of your search and you should be able to figure it out. Now these stamps down here, some of y'all might be able to recognize these just because you collect stamps, but to young stamp collectors, this is super tough. So here we, we have EMP, O T T O M A N. Um, what does that mean? Imp, Ottoman. I mean, if you don't know what the Ottoman Empire, this would be really hard to understand what it is. Um, and in this one, it just says E J R E, maybe E I R E. Um, it would be really hard to figure it out. And then down here, it has some letters too. But f just from looking at them, you wouldn't know what that stamp is. So again, what you're gonna do? You're gonna get your computer. You're gonna get out your smartphone, and you're just gonna type in what you see. E M P Automan stamp. See what comes up. You're going to type in E I R E E J R E stamp. See what comes up. More than likely, you will be able to find the country of the stamp you're looking for just by typing in what is on the stamp. All right. Now, once you figure out the country, then it gets a little harder. You got to dig it a little deeper. Um, but this video is just to talk about. Um, just the basics of just getting started to identify the stamp. So if we type in EMP Ottoman, what will come up is Turkey. All right, we know this stamp is from Turkey. There's going to be a lot of stamps um, that look like this stamp from Turkey, this crescent moon here. Um, this stamp, does anyone know where this stamp is from? I mean, if you collect stamps, you probably have a good idea. It's from Ireland. Um, it's from Ireland. You see the harp there. Um, you recognize some of the symbols. Um, which brings me to my next point. A lot of countries use the same kind of look, the same kind of symbols. So Persia or Iran, they usually have a lion um, in their stamps. Even the newer stamps they have nowadays, they usually have a lion. Um, like I said, the turkey stamps, they're usually going to have this crescent moon there. And that's just two examples. Um, so yeah, so this is just the first part and hopefully a few part series where I'm talking about, um, you know, how to properly identify stamps that you just you have no idea where they're from all right um so yeah so that's the video um thanks for watching